So, like I told you, Vonda, with type 1 diabetes, your body doesn't make insulin. So, from now on, a bunch of times a day, you're going to have to check your own blood sugar level and give yourself a shot of the right amount of the right kind of insulin at the right time. What I got to do? You've got to stand against... That is the first task at hand. Alton Claiborne, Dr. Delgado. Right, Mr. Claiborne, I know who you are. I'm with the patient now, if you don't mind. Mr. Claiborne, please, let's take a look at the books and find a more appropriate time for this. My sister, it is always time to speak out against injustice. And this sister here, Miss Emery, has suffered most grievously at the hands of the police, as has your employer. I'll be the judge of how much I suffered, thanks. Uh, they were actually a lot rougher on. Miss Emery. Vonda, if I may. Now, let me ask you. Were you not, in fact, unjustly, mercilessly beaten by Officer Hines and his partner, jackbooted thugs who dare to call themselves Philadelphia's finest? Yeah. Then I beseech you to stand with me in righteous indignation against all those who would deprive us of our civil rights and keep our freedom from us. How? We will raise our voices in protest. We will be heard in the streets. We will be heard in the press. And we will be heard in the courtroom. We will prevail. You can get rid of that delivery truck, Sister Vonda. A life of ease awaits you. You gonna make them give me money for what I've been through? Oh, no. <laughs> no, ma'am, I am not. But your deliverer shall be that angel of mercy, that instrument of healing, standing to your immediate left. Her. A grave injustice has been perpetrated on this city, upon its citizenry, and upon this poor woman, by the police, and by her own doctor. Oh, Lou, what'd you do? I can't believe this. For Dr. Delgado, who was the only witness to Officer Hines' brutal act, other than the victim herself, to come before the police commission and exonerate these criminal cops. Nice going. I, I, I just told them what I saw. They asked me under oath no, if Hines and his partner could have assumed incorrectly that Vonda was drunk or on drugs. And I'm sorry, a hypoglycemic episode can look like that. I wasn't going to lie. Oh, my God. Vonda. Sister, you all right? Ambulance. Somebody get an ambulance for this fallen sister. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Vonda, can you hear me? Start collapse on the tube. Talk to me. Deep breathing, fruity odor on breath. Finger stick glucose 580. BP 90, probable. Pulse tachy at 136. Temp 101. Okay. Ready, guys? On my count? No, doctor. No, not you. Not on your count. Get out of my way. I need to examine her. I speak for Vonda Emery. And let me assure you, doctor, that after what you did to her today, she would rather die than to let you, her betrayer, ever lay a hand on her again. I demand a different Position. Look, Vonda has mismanaged her insulin and is probably falling into a diabetic coma from DKA thanks to the stress of that hearing. She will die if you don't get out of my way and if let me If she does, her. it will be on your head. We will not be moved. Lou, Lou, step aside, please. No, Nick, this is my patient. She's a brittle diabetic and in insulin shock. And you're not helping her right now. This man's making that impossible. Let me. Or am I unsuitable too, sir? We'll do fine. All right, on my count. One, two, and. That blood gas is CBC, lights, serum ketones, top screen, urine culture. I want a Foley catheter and a bolus of IV insulin, 20 units. Spinal tap and a CT as soon as we're done here. Chris, ready? Let's go. Hit it. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. 